Hola, soy yo, Vicky, otra vez. And the really good news, if you're in Spain, is it's raining. It's fantastic. So, sí, hemos tenido mucho calor. We've had a lot of heat lately and uh, por fin está lloviendo. At last it's raining. So, after I've made this video, I will be out in the rain. It's fantastic. Okay, sorry, if you're in the UK, you're probably thinking, oh, you know, uh, rain, fantastic. But if you live in Spain, believe me, when it rains, it is a relief, especially after August. Okay, so in this video, in este video, vamos a mirar algunos modismos en español. We're going to look at some idioms in Spanish uh, that use colors. Uh, que usan, uh, usen colores. Uh, and before I start, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who watches the videos. Thank you so much to everybody who likes them, subscribes to them. Anyone who has bought me a coffee in the, um, uh, the ways of supporting my channel. Um, so yeah, there's all different ways you can support my channel. Um, you know, the YouTube, I, uh, uh, despite the fact that YouTube have started putting little adverts on my videos, which is a little bit annoying because they haven't monetized me yet. But anyway, there you go. That's YouTube. Can't argue with YouTube. Um, but there are various ways that you can help to support my channel, all of which that I'll put in the description box. And yes, I have decided I am definitely going to do a Patreon channel. So that's something to look out for, but I'll be letting you know about it when it comes up. Okay, let's get to these idioms in Spanish. Uh, so, first of all, we're going with blue. Do you know the color blue? Azul. And do you know this expression? Your príncipe azul, your blue prince, would be your like your prince charming. So, príncipe azul is uh, is the Spanish equivalent of prince charming. Busco mi príncipe. I'm looking for my Prince Charming. I actually am still looking for it, but I think I've sort of given up now. I'm getting too old. But uh, yeah, si, sí, siempre buscamos nuestro uh, Príncipe Azul. I don't know if they use the equivalent for a princess, like Princesa Azul. I don't think so. I think this is just the masculine, Príncipe Azul. Prince Charming. Have you found your Prince Charming? Please let me know in comments if you have. And does he have a brother for me? Okay, an older brother. Vale, so numero dos. Pasar la noche en blanco. So we're going to white now, blanco. Uh, if you pass, well, you can see that that is literally pass the night in white. So uh, if you pass the night in white or pasar la noche en blanco, you can't sleep. So, por ejemplo, un ejemplo, ayer pasé la noche en blanco. No es verdad, ayer dormí bien. It's not true for me in this particular case, but yesterday I couldn't sleep, if you like, or last night I couldn't sleep. Ayer pasé la noche en blanco. Okay, now we're going to marrón. Do you know what color marrón is? It's brown. Comerse el marrón. Now, it's really strange, this one, I don't really understand it, but it's uh, literally, it's to eat the brown, if you like, and it's to take the blame. Yo siempre me como el marrón. I always take the blame. Yeah, so that's an interesting one. I didn't actually know that one myself before I started researching this video. <laughs> Something we always do, or we tend to do, I shouldn't say, uh, at Christmas, ponerse morado or morada, if you're a lady, and uh, that's like stuff your face, basically, so you go purple, because morado is purple, so uh, you eat so much <laughs> your face goes purple, if you like, so I suppose it might equate to... Uh, stuff in your face or eating a lot anyway which we do tend to do a little bit at Christmas en navidad nos ponemos morados or maybe we do it at the weekend I don't know or when we go to a what buffet but uh, that's how we would say it in Spanish ponerse morado okay um, here's a similar one but this time it's negro ponerse negro 
And this is to get angry. Oh, I don't know if you can hear the thunder there. There's thunder now. So, uh, as I say, it is quite nice to have the storm. It's been so hot here. Anyway, ponerse negro. Yo me pongo negro, or negra, I should say, because I'm a woman, uh, con mala gente, with bad people. See, sí, especialmente la gente uh, que maltrata animales, or niños, yeah? Me pongo negra, I get angry. So, ponerse negro, or negra, is to get angry. So, we're staying with black, ver negro. So, ver negro is to uh, be sad, really. If you, you know, if you feel sad, you're ver negro. So, for example, él veía todo en negro antes de conocerla. There's my eternal uh, romantic. He saw everything in black or he was very sad before he met her. Okay, so hopefully she it could be the other way around. He could have been happy before he met her, whichever way you look at it. Still with negro, en negro is something that's illegal or not quite legal, if not totally illegal. Uh, for, por, ejemplo, por ejemplo, mucha gente trabaja in Negro in España and a lot of people work under the radar in Spain and probably in other countries too uh, and that is in Negro illegally uh, and I think this is especially true in Spain to be honest it always has been uh, vale. now we're going to Verde Green Poner Verde a alguien and that's to speak badly about someone. You know, we've all got those friends, unfortunately, that uh, just love talking about other people all the time and they've only got negative things to say about people. Drives me absolutely mad. Ella, si, I can think of several. Ella pi, siempre pone verde a los demás. She always speaks badly about others. Might not be a woman, might be a man. Just the ones I'm thinking about are women. Sorry. Vale. Staying with verde. Estar verde. And I think we use this in English too. If you're green at something, like you're not really used to doing it, you're new to doing it. And this goes in Spanish with the verb estar. Estoy verde en esto. I'm new at this. Yeah, I'm green at this. I'm new at this. Uh, then we have a nice little follow-on from the Principe Azul. A media naranja. I love this. A half orange. Your half orange, your media naranja, is your soulmate. The person you were meant to be with. Sometimes you think you found them and then it doesn't work out. But you hope always springs eternal. Media naranja. Un día conoceré a mi media naranja. Yeah, one day I will meet my half an orange, uh, my soulmate. Maybe I've already met them, just doesn't happen yet. Bueno, so media naranja. Un día conoceré a mi media naranja. Dedos cruzados, fingers crossed. Or maybe uh, in thinking that, am I doing this? Ver la vida de color rosa. Uh, look at life through rose-coloured glasses, you know, sometimes, I think I'm like probably a typical person who sometimes I do do this and then other times I'm really quite cynical, depends what mood you're in, doesn't it? So, pero a veces, sí, pero siempre intento ver la vida de color de rosa. I always try to look at life through rose-coloured glasses and be positive doesn't always work. We all have it. They have an expression in Spanish, ideas. Not ideas, like ideas in your head, but I, H-A-Y, dias, D-I-A-S, days. There are days, you know, ideas. Uh, intento ver la vida por, uh, de color de rosa, pero ideas. You know, some days you just can't. Okay, so going back to Rosa, 
novella rosa a novella rosa and funnily enough I, I i think i am a bit like romantic in some ways but i actually hate romantic novels novella rosa is a romantic novel uh, and te gustan a ti las novelas rosas do you like romantic novels some people like them i don't i just find them boring but anyway te gustan las novelas rosas Okay, so we're going from rosa now to rojo, going from pink to red, estar en números roja, uh, rojos. Uh, and I think, of course, we do have this expression in English too, to be in the red, you know, your bank account, etc. Estar en números rojos. So, por ejemplo, la cuenta bancaria de ellos, their bank account, siempre está en números rojos, is always in the red. Anyway, no comments. <laughs> Just sin comentario en esto. So we're sticking with red. Ponerse rojo, como un tomate. <laughs> to be as red as a tomato. Carmen se puso rojo. Uh, oh, Roca. Oh, yeah, I've put Roca, I think. I think that's an A. I'm not sure, but it should be an A because it's Carmen. Carmen se puso Roca como un tomate ayer. Carmen went red as a beetroot. I think we'd say in English, wouldn't we? Red as a beetroot. In Spanish, your Rojo como un tomate. Okay, now we're going to Blanco again. White. Estar sin blanco. If you've sin blanco, you've got, you're broke, you're hot, you know, you're just uh, strapped for cash. You're without blanco, you're without white. In other words, you've got no notes. So Pedro siempre está sin blanco. Pedro's always broke, for example. And numero 16, yes, yes, which is the last one. Uh, quedarse en blanco. Now, quedarse en blanco is to just go blank. So, estuvimos todos tan inquietos que nos quedamos en blanco. We were so uh, nervous, if you like, that we went blank. We were all so nervous that we went blank. Estuvimos todos tan inquietos que nos quedamos en blanco. Okay, let's just go through them just briefly. Príncipe Azul, Blue Prince or Prince Charming. Pasar la noche en blanco, to pass the night in white or not be able to sleep. Comerse el marrón, to eat the brown or to take the blame. Ponerse morado or morada, uh, to put yourself purple or to stuff your face. Ponerse negro, uh, to put yourself black or to get angry. Ver negro, to be sad, to see black or to be sad. En negro, uh, illegal, in black is illegal. Poner verde a alguien, to put green on someone, to talk badly about someone. Estar verde, to be green, to be new at something. Media naranja, uh, half an orange, your soulmate is half an orange. Ver la vida de color de rosa is see life through rose-colored glasses. Novela rosa, pink novel, is a romantic novel. Estar en números rojos, to be in red numbers, in other words, to be in the red. Ponerse rojo como un tomate, to put yourself red like a tomato or to go as red as a beetroot. Estar sin blanco, to be without white or to be hard up, broke, etc. 
y 16 quedarse en blanco, which is to go blank, to, to stay in white, it literally means, it's to go blank. Ok, vale, ya está. Uh, espero que hayas disfrutado el video, I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope you've learned something new, I hope you'll find it useful. Uh, don't forget the Break the Language Barrier books if you want to learn Spanish at home. If you have anything that you'd like me to explain in the video, please let me know. I'll be happy to do that. Um, any queries, any doubts, anything you're not sure of, either in the books or just generally about Spanish, please let me know in comments. I love getting your comments. A positive one. I don't mind constructive criticism, uh, just not nasty criticism, but I love getting the positive comments. Um, it makes it all worthwhile doing the videos, knowing that people are watching them and actually getting something out of them. And uh, yeah, that's it. So yeah, look out for my Patreon channel, which will be coming soon. Um, I think, you know, what I'm going to do is do a, a sort of a, a special channel um as part of this channel but where you pay a little bit per month and I, I think what i'm going to do is have at least one hour a week and it may turn into more hours uh, depending on how many people and how many questions i have to get through where i'm going to go live and take your question and if you're part of the patreon uh, channel uh, you can uh, come and ask me a question and i and we can actually discuss it live so that's the idea. What do you think? Uh, any other thing? Uh, you know, and then there are other things I'd quite like to put on the Patreon channel. But anyway, that's how I'm going to start it, and then we're going to take it from there. Still not sure how I'm going to do it, but um, look out for it. I'll be letting you know soon. So, que tu Dios vaya contigo. Muchas gracias por mirar. Y te veo muy pronto en el próximo video. Gracias otra vez.